Hey everybody, uh, welcome to this episode of All Stars Gaming. Just a little quick intro here. We had a slight, what's the scientific word, a fuck up with the uh, recording of this part. Probably because it's a Dragon Quest game. Fuck you, Ted. Um, most of it w was salvageable. You will see there are moments on screen, and we comment on them, where the uh, picture gets so uh, screwy. Fortunately, this uh, somewhat messed up the audio syncing to the picture, so there, there will be some moments where the uh, uh, sound of the game just cuts out for a few seconds, just so I, I could sync it up correctly. It's not perfect, and we were going to redo this part, but then I was like, no. Enjoy! Hello everybody, I am FTA. I am Dragon Quest XI S, Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition Demo Fan. <gasps> and welcome back to another episode of All Stars Gaming. We are here, unfortunately, to play a Dragon Quest game. I'm just glad someone finally asked for Kingdom Hearts on our Patreon. <laughs> this is uh, another uh, Patreon requested game from our uh, patron, Sarah. Uh, this was... <laughs> Specifically requested to make you suffer, I think. Well, first she gave us um, a bunch of games we had no access to. Then she gave uh, three more games. And uh, this was the only one I, I had. And it's making... Ooh, look at the... Uh, hmm. Oh. May have to... Oh, that told Game Capture HD is not like in Dragon Quest. Which, can't blame it. Uh, ah. if, if the footage freaked out there a little bit, I do apologize, but we'll keep going. If it does it again, uh, nobody will see this, so it doesn't matter. Yay. Brand new adventure log. I don't know. Oh, For reference, what were the other two new games requested? Oh, from Sarah? Oh, yes. um, I, I'd have to check. Okay, gotcha. You, you put in a dumb name and let me check what games were being well, requested. Um, so I sent our Link's Awakening cartridge back to Gamefly. <laughs> so, did you finish the game? Uh yeah, it's pretty fun. Good, because because yeah. we, we should say the, these last five episodes of this season are being recorded a few weeks after we did the first five. Naturally, I was gonna put sixty nine in, but I can't. So I'm gonna put three hearts because there you go. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> so the other ones were Lethal League Blaze and Persona Four. So they really just wanted us to do weeb games. I heard good things about Lethal with a League. I can't even say it. So, what I love about this demo is like, which way would you like to play? I'm like, 2D mode sounds great. 2D mode is not available in the demo version. Buy the game. <laughs> oh, okay. I've heard, though, that um, a lot of other people prefer 3D mode because um, I guess the random encounter is insanely... The random encounter rate in 2D mode is insanely high. Ah, that sucks. In, That's an, just... in an ideal world where I have nothing but time, I play this through 3D and then go right back in 2D just to see what's up. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure this is. A, I'm sure this. You know, obviously, this franchise has been going on for a long time, and people love it. You know, even dum dums like Ted love it. So it, it probably isn't all that good, but um, you know, I'm sure there's obviously just obviously something to this series. Otherwise, it wouldn't you know be where it is. This is where I say. Playing this demo made me like the series, and I started seeing why people like the series. Um, I had the rare switch thing where it worked out for me, because I'm always at home. I don't have a commute where I don't drive. I never have a reason to have my switch out of the dock, but my power went out about a month ago, and I was like, oh, what am I going to do? I'll play through the entire Dragon Quest XI demo. And I got through most of it before my switch died, and I was like, okay, I get it. I get the Dragon Quest. I went and bought Dragon Quest One. Um, good stuff. Do you want to see this cutscene? How long, how long does this cutscene last? Um, you know, a bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, uh, why don't you talk a bit more about the, the Dragon Quest? And so, it, it, so what's going on here is that these people are like, God, it's really raining. When's the power coming back on? And this guy's like, well, I got a switch. We can play the Dragon Quest XI. That's like a definitive demo. And this guy's like, yeah, okay. Sure. You know, you know what I kind of like about these designs? They all look like they they belong in a different anime series, because <laughs> none none of them have the same like look like they're the same species. You know, that's us. <laughs> We're the Krillin baby. <laughs> Part of me hates to reduce all his work to Dragon Ball, but it's so prolific. I can't look at that baby and not think 
Krillin baby. I won't lie, like when when they first announced like the hero character, like I just thought like I guess whatever one the standard hero option is, I was like, oh, that this looks like Vegeta's face, <laughs> like a different body, you know. Um, Trunks hairstyle. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, what's going on here? Some good water, by the way. We're in the past. Is this like, game or was just like a CG cutscene? This is a CG. Oh, okay. If the game looked like this, oh man. I was about to say, I was like, damn, man, this game looks <laughs> good. But they're sending off the special baby, the chosen baby. So Moses. Yeah. These dudes are here. They're having. Man, I didn't see that shield last time. Holy shit, they hit this horseman! But, you know, it's just establishing, like, man, eh, you know, typical fantasy JRPG nonsense. She did both for a kid there? Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, as you do. No one will suspect a kid carrying a kid. You're not allowed to ask questions. <laughs> this is anime, you can't ask questions. Oh, no! How did he see her? He has no head! Did he just kill the kid? These questions and more will be answered in mm -hmm. Dragon Quest XI S. Echoes of the Fingers of the Fifth. <laughs> Achoo. Achoo. So, no, is this in game? Nope. Still okay. CG. Still setting up. Because you have to find um, the old man who raises you. Ah! And he's like, when I was showing up, Master Roshi. I didn't think I'd capture a baby. So, you know, that's, that's the character from Smash Brothers. His best form. His best form. So, I forget. So this is Dragon Quest XI. So this Switch version, the definitive version, it's it's a port of the PS4 yes. version with elements of the 3DS version also added in. Because yeah. the 3DS had um, 2D mode. Was the 2D mode come from there? Yeah, it had 2D mode and a. Um, it had a 3D mode, but obviously it didn't look like this yeah, one yeah. does. But they kind of axed that out and put the 2D port into the PS4 version, added some other stuff. Um, if you like the game, it's probably actually almost enough reason to buy the game again. They added so much. I like that. Can they do a thing where they kind of re orchestrate some of the soundtrack? That gets into a weird subject. So the composer for Dragon Quest is a. He I've heard. Denies war crimes, homophobe, sucks. He's like 12,000 years old. I've heard he's a piece of shit. Yeah. yeah. Even that aside, though, when it comes to the music, he's generally like, make the music MIDI. The orchestral music is for people to experience live in concert, which is dumb. Astoundingly dumb. Because only a small fraction of your fan base is going to get to experience that. Yes. So I guess for this, Square Enix finally said, fuck you. Because he comes from the time where composers would own their music because some of them were savvy. Not no more, they don't. <laughs> yeah. So I guess Square Enix said, like, fuck you. So, you know, you're in game now, by the way. Okay, so hold, okay, hold, skip. Yeah, if you're trying to skip this um, important establishing context. There you are! Oh you're, shit, I thought. You're in Smash Brothers. Okay. Hey! <gasps> John, I... there's John Tron. Look at that oh, guy. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is. There's bald John Tron. <laughs> <laughs> Lady. So, you know, you run around, do some stuff. That girl's kind of got the Dragon Quest 8 bandana. You know, good stuff. Can I fly? Oh, I wish. This game sucks! You get a spell called Zoom, which takes you to cities you visited, but you don't fly. Shut up, dude. <laughs> so you can talk to every single person. They all have dialogue and context. Exclamation points over their head means it's important, of course. Towards the mountain you're about to climb. <laughs> <laughs> Good oh, idea. Is Amber our mommy? Uh, no, no, no. Not a real mommy, but did she raise us? No. Okay. She's, um, unless I'm misremembering, she's either up ahead or back in the village still. So it's just lady. Um, yeah. It's a small community, so you're just friendly with everyone, is kind of the thing. It's real cozy and homely and quaint. So the girl for us is called Gemma? Yes. But that's a name I haven't heard in Donkey's Age. <laughs> Seriously, like in England, I, I went to school with like four different Gemmas. I have not heard that name once in America since moving here. 
So maybe you get on with Dragon Quest then, because they're all about. Yes, because, because it has because it has one name I remember that well, I, I was enjoying saying, the entire game. They're all about abusing the English language, but you know, cobblestone. That's not a very you know American translated name, for instance. And you know, it's like I know it, it's not a hundred percent fair uh -oh. to to either game, and uh -oh. also, especially since one of them isn't out yet. But I don't know. It's just like just comparing this to a lot of the footage we've seen of Pokemon Sun and oh. Sword and Shield. I thought you were gonna say Final Fantasy Seven remake. I was like, well, no. Oh no, I mean that's <laughs> yeah. You can't compare it to that. But I mean, I like, I don't know. Not, not, not to go on a like fuck Pokemon tangent, but so much of some sort of sort of like. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I'm so ready for that game to be out and done with, so I don't have to read that conversation every single day and you have to share Discord. Fight, fight. Yeah, people. Oh, a dog's helping us! Yeah! Get, fuck him. It's a good dog. I wish you could. Pokemon around? Oh. Yeah. It's. Right. This is so. There are mechanical reasons to have it on. But it's mostly so superfluous that you can disable this and go to a traditional JRPG camera system. But you can run around if you want. That's totally an option. Tactics, everyone. Shh. Yeah. Fuck them. Fuck them up the ass. Make sure they don't smile anymore. Is it so? Is is it kind of like you know just traditional eye attack, eye attack? Or is there elements of like you can counter in this? When you can run around, or okay. Sometimes a move will have a counter ability, for example. So if you get attacked, then you counter. But there's no like timing. There's no strategy. It's just I want to use this move. The move counters, that kind of stuff. She says, "Crikey, crikey!" Everyone's got these really exaggerated accents. So is is this pretty voice acted? Um, not fully, but there's a lot of voice acting. Ah, footage of the the Agato oh. liking this. We're getting screen doored. Great. Mm. This is just how the game looks. I mean, I don't know why people like this so much. <laughs> Fucking Ted's like, oh, it looks so good in Switch. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying, Ted. So there's a good chance a lot of this video might not look very good. It's really we were to... just talking about Little Big Planet. Yeah. In, in a part that may or may not come before this one. <laughs> Oops. Look at him jump. Look at him jump. Wee, wee. You should head back to that grave and check behind the grave. Okay. There are story reasons to be at the grave, but there's an item behind the grave. Is, what, is this the grave? Read the sign from there, I guess. Oh, if you're behind it, it'll be like, you can't read the sign, you're behind it. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Wasn't that worth it? No, that, that, that was pretty sweet, I don't know why. Well, you're, you're pretty sweet. sweet. Uh, they jump. We, we, that dog. We. He's got such a dumb face. Can you, can you, is it like Zelda where you can like attack on the, on the hub world? Can I like cut the that, grass? That it, um, you can attack enemies and get a first strike. So there is an element of, of trying to get to an enemy before they can get to you and hit him. Which is kind of nice. What button is attack? Um, I'm not sure if you can, because I'm not sure they've introduced that mechanic yet. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah, this demo is pretty cool. I mean, you can literally get like eight hours yeah, more. I feel like it's, it's like a 10 hour demo. Yeah, you can save carries over, of course. Um, it, it's so much. I, I kept playing it. There were four different times where I was playing this demo where I was like, oh, this is where it ends and everyone was just Wait, talking. Speaking of print of that, there you go. Ah. Up below now. There you go. But yeah, it just keeps going. It was nuts. You just whack him. Oh. It said the thing would have pop up and then fucking pop up. He stepped into his personal oh. space. Oh, fuck it. Kill it! I don't know, if I go over here, you can't attack me. I'm gonna hide behind the dog. <laughs> Smart. I'm behind the hide the Sandy barks. Thanks. Good job. So these slimes are bad guys? Or are they good guys? No, they're they're bad guys. There's that gif of, of the Ted always fucking uses of the, the lady and one of the using the two slimes that I assume meant to be like boobies against that kid's face. She's holding them ransom, yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe Dragon Quest! There might be good slimes. That is possible. Okay. I know in Dragon Quest Heroes, the um, Hyrule Warriors esque villain, there is a good healing slime which flies around and has a really annoying voice. I can tell you that. Wait, wait. 
That was a Dragon Quest type style Hyrule Warriors game? There were two. <laughs> oh, eh? Which, um, yeah, it was, it was pretty good. That was my first Dragon Quest game. Then I played the Minecraft one. Was that before or after uh, Hyrule Warriors? I think it came after. So was Hyrule Warriors, then Fire Emblem, and then also two Dragon Quest games? Yes. And then a Persona one coming. When are they going to make the fucking Sonic one? That tracker teased us all those years ago. I'm so mad at him for that. Fucking oh. bastard. Let's block him. <laughs> How dare he make us want things. Oh, Kirby one. Give us a Kirby one. He also made that Sonic and Tekken, which is not a thing I wanted, but then I saw it and I was like, yeah, sure. I'd get Tekken if Sonic was in it. I mean, so Tekken have had like fucking dinosaurs and, and polar bears and walking trees. Tekken, Tekken the Hedgehog works fine. Tekken has Negan from The Walking Dead. I know, what the <laughs> fuck? I don't want to hear anything any, anymore. That dumb game. I want one. This is fun. <laughs> Walk forward, press X. I'm, I'm joking. It's still you never stuck me as the RPG type, for sure. And what if I told you there were a hundred more hours of this in this game alone? I would imagine, though, things get more, um, you know, yeah, you get more a party, detailed, you get to do more things with it. You get a party you can actually control, you can go talk to people, you work on equipment, you make your numbers go higher. You know, Very basic, comforting, old school stuff. It struck me the right way, but... This is... I, I zone out very easily to this style of game, so I kind of like it for that. Lose dudes. Get a I didn't even know these bad guys wanted to stab them. They got dominatrix masks. That's pretty cool. I, I, oh, I, I don't know how I did that, but that, that's cool. Hey, you just cast fire. I'm gonna fuck you up, mouse man. Have you purchased Hero for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? No, but I, oh, uh, technically, I, TJ bought me the, um, the whole thing. Wow. But TJ said, I want you to have the characters when I come over, basically. <laughs> well, no, it was, because I remember, <laughs> I remember during, uh, License to Chill, were you here in The Simpsons, I joking about how he didn't get me anything for my birthday, and he kind yes. of, he kind of had to cry. So bad for that, um, even though I said, like, shut up, you idiot. Um, so he, he I bought, do that. he got me. He bought me the uh, the fire pass, but the way he did it, he accidentally like I I paid for him. <laughs> he used my account, but it charged my PayPal for it. Like, thanks, TJ. What a great birthday gift! I'm yeah, good job. something from from myself. You want my wife next, asshole? <laughs> Jesus. But then he, he PayPal me money for it, so that's good, I guess. Yeah, it works out in the end. Banjo, I like Banjo. I've only you know I've only ever used. I forget the the way around it, but I played the Bobby of Bobu from Sonic Says a few times, and we I've only have, it's like Hero and Joker, and I think I think yeah with Hero I I've, I've only played Hero twice against him playing as Joker twice, and I've destroyed him both times. Um, it's a good character, very slow. Yeah, I you know like people always like oh you know he's he's too powerful. I'm like no, he's fucking slow as shit, mate. Like yeah. that's his weak. That's his little Mac jump. You know? Just play a Sonic. Fucking so slow. Yeah, play a Sonic and whoop his ass. <gasps> Go, Han! Sorry. Baby Goku? Oh, it's a Dr. Baby Goku? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna do shit, mate. Just go to hit your... Hit some smoke with your sword. It'll be fine. So is... I guess Hero, is he the, you know, long-standing... Oh, it's a time eater. Is it the uh, <laughs> long-standing silent protagonist? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure there's ever been a Dragon Quest mainline dude that's spoken. It's like I, on one hand, I get the appeal of, of the style of antagonist, but sometimes I'm like, I just fucking say something, wait, like, yeah, Jesus. I, I, I'm sure there's an example. I can't think of a time off the top of my head where I've ever liked that. But one thing I'll say for my time with this game, most of the time they don't directly address the character. They just say, we need to go do this thing. And it kind of works a little better for that. Because a lot of silent protagonists, characters will look to them and say, what do you think about this? Three second pause. I agree! And it's like, oh, yeah, right. that's the stuff I dislike. Yeah, and this one it's mostly like, your dude's there, but everyone's talking so much that, in theory, you wouldn't even get a chance to answer. So, my read on this dude was, he wants to talk, but no one will let him. 
which kind of made it fun with him. But you gotta work to get to that point. I'd love it if actual fights were just, I'm running around like an idiot. I'm like, I'm running around. As the smoke cloud doesn't even acknowledge you for most of the fight. Just, yeah. yeah, I'm behind you. I don't know. Whatever, it's good. Let's see our triple heart. Ooh, I leveled from two. <laughs> she claps. <laughs> Fucking condescendingly clap to me when I play this. How dare you? Oh, level three, yeah. yeah. Okay, is this, is this kid okay? Uh, he was up here to like spook you, then he's like, oh no, I got spooked. And that dog was like very disapproving of looking at him. <laughs> I got that fucking dog's face! <laughs> Tony, what the fuck? It's so weird. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go back to the village. <laughs> and that's how Dragon Quest ends. <laughs> she doesn't even want to look at you right now. You've grown to quite the hero. Get it? Oh. Get it? It's his fucking name! I wonder if I need the hero as the credits music. Oh. Oh, she cried. Oh, she was crying. <laughs> oh, man. I just really missed the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd he leave? He was the only other attacker you had. I don't oh, do yeah, shit. You, you don't do shit. I don't care. Trade you for the dog. He's more useful than you. Just jump off the cliff. I want you to... We're out of here. Oh. oh, yay. Pine. Pink pine. Oh, why, why can't I jump down there? I want to jump down there. That's a great question. I just I can't do shit with this game. Look at you go. Look at me, I don't need fucking no one. Bye Gemma! I'm gonna get someone else. <laughs> oh what the fuck? You not behind me! It's right to the top, okay. Check that out, huh? There's gameplay here. Now you're holding forward in a different way. Um, look at that look at that cinematic crotch action. Oh yeah. Hero. He doesn't have his signature garb yet. It's kind of like in Wind Waker, when you start out in your jammies. I wish you could play the whole game in your jammies. Maybe. Can't you? In Wind Waker? Oh, I think maybe in like Hero Mode, possibly. Yeah. There might, there might be. There's probably a trick to do it. Mm. So, Drake, in terms of the franchise as a whole, is it just this game that you have any, any like, like history experience with? I played through one out of curiosity since it was like five bucks. Oh, what, the, the iPhone port? Yeah, they put one, two, and three on Switch the same day as this, which was a lot. But, um. <laughs> yeah, odd, 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 odd choice it. to put so many fucking Dragon Quest games. Yeah. I wound up enjoying it. It was like super simple. I kind of just had a guide helping me through the obtuse parts. Good, simple, old school fun. What if Drag if it's becoming like Resident Evil and Final Fantasy with just so many of them are now on Switch? Yeah, I mean We're almost at the point where Resident Evil 6 is on Switch, which is crazy because I didn't know anyone liked that game. <laughs> and that only leaves seven in the remake of two at that point for the main stuff. Which I don't think well te technically technically speaking, in the Japanese Switch eShop you can stream Seven. Oh right. That, so it yeah. technically is. So yeah, it's not you impossible. Know, it's yeah. not. It's not ideal, or from what I understand, even good. But it, but can it, be it is technically on Switch. Right. Um, I don't think we'll ever get Resident Evil Two remake. Probably not. It's it's unless they really unless they stream it or like dumb it down. You know. Yeah. But still, that's a pretty good amount of Resident Evil on one console. Yeah, you know it's. It seems like it's um, a lot of public publishers are going to make it up for just completely ignoring the Wii U. Mm. But here, we're not going to give you any new games, but there's a shitload of old games, which, you know, because I, I think you do find with um, the, with hardcore Nintendo fans, they're like, they won't go elsewhere. Like, Yeah, they'll just play Smash and be like, I don't know, what? What yeah. is a Resident Evil? <laughs> and so it's like, I think, you know, for... On the issue, it's fine to just, you know, put older games from, you know, it's it's good, it's fine. Um, speaking of things that are good and fine, yeah, you know, this is this is okay. Um, I, I downloaded this, you know, just for this uh, video, but it's it looks good. Haven't heard the music, so can't comment, but from what I understand, Dragon Quest music... Music's fine. ...is, mu is much loved. Um, I'll, I'll see if I can find some time to finish the demo, and then maybe I'll go from there. I'll say for you, there's a certain story moment. Not that the story moment makes it fantastic, but for me, that's when I got interested. 
because it plays it very straight, very typical old school JRPG. You're the chosen one. You got to get to the king. The king's going to accept you and send you out on a mission. And you get there, and there's a pretty interesting twist. The king goes, fuck you. I don't know who you are. Get out of my house. In that ballpark. Yeah. <laughs> it, it turns it on its head in a cool way, I will say. If I was not poor, I probably would have bought the game based on that moment alone. Just as like, oh, this actually gets interesting. Okay. Oh, but you are poor. But I am poor. 